Hey guys, I'm Chan from Scar Studio. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created this pie chart animation. So if you're new here, you can find more cool tutorials in my channel. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. There's a lot of cool stuff coming and um, working on a Star Wars short film. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, all right, with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. So create a plane with Shift A, tab in edit mode, add a loop cut in the middle, Control R, and another loop cut in the cross section. Seven, go to top view, select these, select these, select the bottom ones, delete until we have only these two vertices. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a screw modifier. And we already have something that looks like a, it's actually circle. So we can control the angle with this. So what I'm gonna do is increase the steps to about 90 in both the render and the steps and make this minus 360. So if we animate it now, it starts from the left side, which is what I want my animation to look like and uh, I'm gonna make it minus 45 so you can actually uh, change this according to what you want and yeah so I uh, like this I'm gonna leave it like that and uh, minus 45 so my uh, pie graph is going to look pretty even and uh, you guys can do all the math and get it to whatever you want I'm gonna add a solidify modifier and uh, we're gonna make it something like that minus 0.06 that's good and you guys can see this this weird shading issue when once I added the uh, the solidify modifier so for that go to the normal tab and auto smooth in the normal so now we're gonna do a little bit of animation for that move to the 10th frame and in solidify modifier go to thickness and right click and add a keyframe Move to the screw modifier and in the angle add a keyframe as well. And move back to the first frame and I'm gonna make the thickness zero and insert a keyframe and the angle zero and insert a keyframe there as well. So then we have an animation that looks like that. That looks cool. So now I'm gonna duplicate this with shift D and move it down in the Z axis and rotate it uh, 45 or min minus minus 45 degrees in the Z axis so we have something like that and I'm gonna change the height to a more precise number like minus 0 0.05 meters okay that looks good and now I'm gonna duplicate this again and move it down I'm gonna make this minus 0 0.1 and this minus 90 degrees and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing again shift D minus add 45 degrees and make this add 5 there we go now I'm gonna select everything and shift D to duplicate and rotate it all R X RZ90 and uh, now I'm gonna move them down I'm just gonna eyeball it at this point and see what fits okay this looks good for me I'm gonna leave it like that so you guys can see the animation is happening but it everything starts all together so I'm going to the animation tab and in the top I'm gonna select the dope shit on the top because it's how I usually work and now I'm going to select these bottom keyframes and move them about 10 frames or 5. Yeah. Now I'm going to deselect the top uh, the and top and select the bottom and move again 5 frames. So yeah, something like that. And I'm going to keep doing that. Select move, select move, select move, select move. Now if you play the animation there you go. So that's basically it for the animation. Now we are going to the shading tab and uh, we're going to do some uh, materials. So in the shading tab, create a new material and shift 
aka add a color ramp and leave it over there and now plug the color in base color and shift a we are going to add an object info node and plug the randomness into the factor now I'm gonna add a few more points into this with the plus sign over there and uh, a few more with the plus and select this plus again and add a few colors to the black one I might make it something like red this one over here something like uh, blue purplish and uh, with the minus sign you can delete the colors and with the plus you can add and I'm gonna make this a B spline so I'm playing with the colors at this point right now trying to figure out the colors I want so I was thinking okay I was adding a few more and uh, yeah so these were the colors I came up with so I'm gonna select the next uh, half of the circle and I was thinking of adding seven because there's there were eight I was thinking of uh, I was thinking of adding eight colors because there's eight uh, discs or whatever you call them and select the drop down menu and distribute steps evenly now it'll distribute evenly and uh, if you add the same material to all the objects like that you have different colors in each of those discs right let's say that looks good for me okay so now we're gonna do a little bit of changes in the roughness I'm gonna make it uh, 0 0.25 and the alpha I'm gonna make it 0 0.7 now if we go to render view I'm gonna add a, an area lamp and move it up like that scale it up a bit increase the strength to about 500 maybe that looks too much or maybe that's okay and i'm going to duplicate that with shift d and r x 90 i can rotate it so if you are rendering in ev the alpha uh, slider might not do much for you so make sure you go to settings and blend mode select alpha hashed and alpha hashed in the bottom shadow mode as well so now that start looking like that now I'm gonna add a plane to the bottom and move it down scale it away up and maybe I might uh, decrease the strength of the lights but this looks good for me so far so now I'm just gonna place my camera and render the animation so that's it so if you create this scene tag me on instagram so i can see your work and leave some feedback as well so follow me on instagram i'll be posting more of my work before i upload on youtube and what kind of tutorials do you want me to make next so whatever you want let me know in the comments below i'd love to know so i have a lot of videos like this in my channel so you guys can check them out as well so if you want to create a scene like this click here and if you want to watch this animation loop playlist you can click here so that's it for this video see you in the next one peace